Shalom everyone, this is Alan Rising. Um, I'm just going to read Proverbs 3 today, the whole chapter, basically. And um, I guess the purpose is, I just kind of want to read the chapter so that, you know, for I myself, I can meditate on this uh, chapter, you know, maybe listen it to my iPod maybe throughout my day, which is very good uh, informative stuff, or maybe, maybe in some way I can bless you guys as well. Here we go. My son, do not forget my Torah, and let your heart watch over my commands. For length of days and long life and peace they add to you. Let not loving commitment and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart, thus finding favor and good insight in the eyes of Elohim and man. Trust in Yahweh with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. Know him in all your ways. And he makes all your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear Yahweh and turn away from evil. It is healing to your navel and moistening to your bones. Esteem Yahweh with your goods and with the first fruits of all your increase. Then your storehouses shall be filled with plenty and your vats overflow with new wine. My son, do not despise the discipline of Yahweh and do not loathe his reproof. For whom Yahweh loves, he reproves. And as the father of the son whom he delights in, blessed is the man who has found wisdom, and the man who gets understanding. For the gain from it is, is better than gain from silver, and its increase than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all, her, all your delights are not comparable to her. Length of days is in her right hand, the riches and esteem is in her left hand. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those taking hold of her. And blessed are all who retain her. Yahweh founded the earth by wisdom. He established the heavens by understanding. By his knowledge, the depths were broken up, and the clouds dropped down dew. My son, let them not depart from your eyes. Watch over sound wisdom and discretion. Then they become life to your being and adorning to your neck. Then you would walk safely in your way, and your foot would not stumble. When you lie down, you need not be afraid, and you shall lie down, and your sleep shall be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden dread, nor of the ruin of the wrong when it comes, for Yahweh is at your side. He shall guard your foot from being caught. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it, when it is in the power of your hand to do so. Do not say to your neighbor, Come and come. Go and come back. Tomorrow I give it. Tomorrow I give it. When you have it with you, do not plan evil against your neighbor, seeing he dwells safely beside you. Do not strive with a man without cause. If he has done, if he has done you no know evil, do not envy a cruel man and choose none of his ways. For the perverse one is an abomination to Yahweh, and his secret counsel is with the straight. The curse of Yahweh is on the house of the wrong, and he blesses the home of the righteous. He certainly scoffs the scoffers, but gives favor to the humble. The wise do not inherit in steam, but fools are being, but fools are bearing away, away shame. Shalom, everyone, and have a great day.